Good morning. Good morning. Bye. Bye. Have fun at work. Bye. Bye. Nicholas. And I'm Danielle. And we're married. And young. And we have no idea what we're doing. But we're doing it. Yes. Yes, we are. Good morning. It is 6.45 on Tuesday morning. Tuesdays and Fridays are the days that we decided to work on the house. And by we, I mean me. So we're about to get started. Again, we, I mean me. It's about 45 degrees, but uh, as the good Midwestern say, it ain't that bad without wind. Pretty excited. We get to start working on some foundation for, for the joists for subflooring. We get to work on laser leveling. I've never done that before. So there might be a lot of YouTube watching today instead of YouTube making, but we're excited. My wife and I went on a little date night last night and played video games together at a friend's house. We asked them if we could take up their basement for the evening. And by 8 p.m., we were pooped. So we are pretty tired, still loving life, still ready to serve Knoxville. Let's get today going. So we are getting back into this dirt, and I am hoping this week is the last week that we work in the dirt as much and as thoroughly as we are having to right now wouldn't hold myself to that but that's our hope and we are gonna try and put those two by tens to split these two by fours we're gonna try and put the two by tens right here and we'll put supports uh we'll put pea gravel and sand and then we'll put supports under the two by tens and then we'll start attaching two by eights going from this wall to this wall back and forth So we just cut these out here, 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 and here. And we're gonna span a two, two by 10. These two by 10s are gonna span all the way across there. And I won't lie, I was a little nervous cutting those out. I wasn't sure if either side of the floor was gonna fall in or the walls or the ceiling, because as we know, Nicholas doesn't know what he's doing. But before we can get this to span over there, we gotta make sure that the high point over there is even with this right here, this joist, which is why I got the level, the laser. It's not a level, it's a laser. I don't have a 20 foot level. Uh, where's the laser? All right, so I think I left the laser. I, the laser must have been in its own separate box, and I just grabbed the stand. It's a 20-minute drive there and a 20-minute drive back, but I need that laser to keep going, I probably, or the house would just be very uneven. So I'm going to do it right. Well. Yep. This is the laser. Oh my goodness, it was right here. This is where the, this is where the package was. Oh, let me not pretend I know what I'm doing and actually take the directions. Well, it's 810. I'm back with the laser. And uh, I was pretty frustrated at first because I really wanted to get started right away, but when I was driving there, I put on some worship music and I have to tell you, I am so thankful I went there because I was just gonna start my day without connection with the Lord and that goes way worse for me. If you're wondering how that can even make a difference, imagine like a, a battery operated scooter, right? It can run without connecting to a power source for a while, 
uh, but eventually it just dies out. And I was probably on that warning low, low energy bar. So, but the Lord came in and just filled me up. And so we are starting a little later, but we're starting better, we're starting stronger. And we are gonna level this house by the grace of God. All right, so I got a plan. I'm gonna use this T and measure how high the laser is over here because this is where I'm measuring from. And then I'm gonna go to this back wall and I'll put a mark on the wall exactly where it should be based off of the measurement on this T. All right, so the consensus is right here in the middle, we're down by a half inch. And over there, we're actually only gonna be three inches above the sill. So we'll actually notch quite a bit out of this two by 10. All right, I'm gonna cut this line with this skill saw. I really just need to bite the bullet and get a chop saw, but I haven't yet. As you can tell, there's some not so simple notching going on in here. And so I gotta get the board to fit that. All right, guys, final product. We'll, uh, we'll use the Sawzaw to cut that, I think. I'm not sure. All right, I made a boo-boo, I did it wrong. So I built it like this goes here but actually it needs to go further down like that. And it's not too terrible of a fix, but it means it doesn't have as much support there as I would like, but that's okay. Cause we're going to put support in this trench. All right, guys, I've been fighting for an hour, cutting things that should never be cut in ways that they've never hopefully been cut by a human before measuring things in ways they should never be measured. And we got it. It is perfectly level from this point right here to that point right there. Whew, very excited. Now we get to figure out how to attach everything. bad boy with the points you're supposed to hammer it in to the wood and then screw it in on the back side but I can't get it to hammer in so but I have some other ones that don't have these so they actually were left here when the house was abandoned all right somewhere on this shelf I put a box of random hardware I think this is it there you are we'll take a couple of them All right, what kind of screws are we using? If you use ones that are too long, they don't work, and if they're too short, they're too weak. We'll go on the shorter side. but this is not most of the reinforcement we're giving it. We're gonna stretch it two by 10 from there and it'll go past here and it'll go a couple feet this way. And then both sides will be supported underneath. Hopefully. goodness ladies and gentlemen we've got two two by tens in there split the house right down the middle got quite a few screws in it and we will add many more 
But for now, I think we need to start clearing out this so we can start attaching some uh, two by eights. However, I have not had breakfast yet. So I'm gonna go get some, some breakfast. But first, there are too many tools laying about and I need to throw wood and the old Nicholas would have just thrown the wood. But new Nicholas decided to pick up. Who knew mom was right? We got that back wall cleared out. Now I'm ready to put a couple two by eights through there. So uh, some things happened while, uh, while I was doing that. Saw a couple spiders. Not my brightest moment, one of them. I got freaked out. I smushed it. I didn't want any trouble. It's not my favorite thing to do because spiders are like the third best being on the earth in terms of for the earth. They just freak me out, especially when they're close to you. Ugh, it was a cool thing. I was hanging out with the spiders, being freaked out by the spiders. And at one point I heard the Lord say, you know, I made those things. And I was like, man, he would say that right as I'm about to see a spider. And then I freaking saw a spider it was so close to me, so big. And I didn't smush that one. <sighs> Lord, give me strength. So I don't know if you can see it, but right in here, that brick that's supposed to be a foundation does not look like much of a foundation. And I'm supposed to put the two by eights on top of that. So I don't know. Well, let's we'll figure something out. I might put them on that and then put another piece of foundation right here later. So I've got two two by eights all the way across and then I'm gonna put a piece of plywood and then take this down and put the water heater over there. I just didn't wanna set the water heater in the dirt. Um, I just kinda of wanna keep it close to where it was now. But I only have four two by eights left. Not enough for all the way across here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two or three here finish out right here and leave one for there. And then we get to go to Menards. Probably not today, but I do love Menards. Not sponsored, but uh, always happy to be. All right, we've got these in there. Got a couple over there. Um, these are a little wide because the entrance is there and I'll probably just put a couple braces across them to help with uh, holding the span of plywood. But then over here, we've got uh, this that's got to come out. So I will spend my last hour of work trying to get that out of here. I don't think I'll get all of it done today, but I'm excited because on Friday, or the I should be able to finish getting all of the two by eight spanned across and get the wa and have the water heater out of place, so then all of the floor can be laid, uh, which is really exciting, and then we can have kind of a floor plan in here. <laughs> All right, so we got an issue. The water here is about ready to be moved, but this electrical cord goes in here, but it's not labeled. I don't know what it goes to. The bed, kitchen one, kitchen two, living room, lights, laundry, bathroom. Can't be bathroom, can it? No, it's a bathroom, something else. Dryer, furnace, fridge, microwave, range. Best bed is the bathroom, but I'm pretty sure the bathroom's something else. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna or I'm gonna turn off all the power. Oh, I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling. Turn off all the power. Okay. Cut it, cap it, and then uh, turn the power back on. You think that looks okay? I'm just gonna assume so. Turn the power back on. Well, nothing bad happened and the lights are back on. 
we will consider this a win. A big old W for the Lirio household. That's not light. That's heavy. I need some water. All right, time to clean up, pick up all this trash, and get her out of here. Okay, this is as clean as we are making it today. I even swept over here a little bit, really needed it. But it is time to quit. It's 5.10. I've got to get a few things. We've got home group tonight. Big deal. Big part of our week. We love home group. We'll be back Friday. All right, guys, a terrible thing has happened. I'm riding with my wife. And I was very excited. I was so excited for 222,222 miles on this car. Yeah. And we forgot. We forgot. <sighs> I think Danielle hit it yesterday on our date night when we were, we're driving to meet each other at the same place. So this is the mess that I gotta clean up. And I honestly am not looking forward to it. But it is going to be so good when it gets done. I am excited to see how it happens. Just me casually running on the dopamine of what will be. This bad boy, very handy. I use it to help keep the bottom of the truck from getting too scratched. All right, I figured out how I am going to clean down there without going insane. I'm going to clean for a while and then do something else. And I've cleaned for a while, got all this stuff, and what I'm gonna do is right in here, I'm going to uh, dig a little bit more, make it level, put pea gravel and sand, and then put some supports. I think three across the 10 feet will be good enough. All right, so we just got pea gravel, river rock, because they were out of their some of their pea gravel, we need a little more. We got sand and I went to Walmart and got a toothbrush because I need a new toothbrush. Now, I think I need to do something about feeding myself because I start losing motivation when I am hungry and then I work slow, it's just not better. So, I'm gonna do something about feeding myself. I just don't know what yet. I've really started enjoying me some uh, ramen crackers. It's just ramen, but not cooked very easy. I have a thing where I don't like food more than I hate preparing it. So I do like food, but I hate preparing it more. Mm. Another staple, salad. So you can see I put a support there, a support there, a support there, and I redid this one to just be better. We will see how they hold up when I let down the, um, the whatchamacallit, but something else I'm going to do is I'm going to sure up some of these two by eights before I let down that, what is that thing called? My goodness. Jack. Bottle Jack. 
For now, we're gonna put in some more two by eights, but we're running into issues over here because we need to have places to put them, but that seems to be the closest area. So I got these two bad boys in, but the issue is over here on the end, there's nothing to screw them into. On the other ones, I could screw them into the sill, um, but here they don't have that or for whatever reason, it's not able to reach or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to span two by fours across here in a couple areas. Also, because it's more like 28 inches instead of instead of 16 if I'm spanning two by fours across, it'll help carry the weight and it'll help keep them stable so they don't wanna slide from side to side. So I just had a very long lunch with uh, one of my favorite guys, Tristan, which means I did not get to everything that I was hoping to, but it's about 2.30. I need to leave for the dump in 30 minutes and I need to be at the hardware store uh, before five to get the wood that I need. I want to pick it up so that I'm just ready to go, ready to roll on uh, next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our final product. We will put some floor. I will put some plywood on there. We'll be able to walk on it for a while, have a lot less dirt showing, have less dust in our house. But we are done for the weekend because my wife informed me that we're going to the Renaissance Fair in Kansas City tomorrow. So you can watch that right here. Thanks for joining us. And remember, knowing what you're doing is overrated. See you next time.